watch is three treats that I think everyone will like if you want to go for the playing it safe classic treat that you know everyone is going to love. I included one of those. I did one that's really cute if you want to go for something very presentable that you want people to notice and be like, oh, those are so adorable. And the third one is to kick it up a notch with something a little bit unique and in my opinion, so delicious. So I included that. For the first recipe, I'm going to show you how I made this too hot for its own good snowman cookie. This is for all you presentation is more important than the actual taste kind of folks. Just like the scientific method, step one is to gather materials. I used Walker shortbread, marshmallows, white icing, and decorative icing. I began with the faces. Using the black icing, I made two eyes and a sad mouth because he's upset about being so hot that he melted. Then I repeated the steps again. Now set those aside and I opened up my white icing. To make the melted effect more authentic, I heated the icing for 30 seconds in the microwave. Warning. I have no clue if this container is microwave safe. Next, I poured the melted icing in a bag, cut off a corner, and iced the shortbread. To finish the look, place the snowman head on its body, and that's it! You got your melted snowman cookie. Now if you're feeling extra saucy or just going to a New Year's party, add a Hershey Kiss and some decorative icing, and you got a party hat! For the second recipe, I'm showing you how I made these smush kisses on a pretzel. I began with pretzels on a pan. Then I preheated the oven at 350 degrees. I made two variations of this recipe. I made one with Hershey Kisses and M&Ms and another one with Rolos and Pecans. You can top the pretzels with half Rolos and half Hershey Kisses or whatever ratio you want, but that's what I did. By that point, the oven will be ready for action, so put them in for a couple minutes, and during that point, I started breaking the pecans. The best method is, <laughs> can't believe I'm about to tell you this, break it in half hamburger style with your thumbs, and then in half hot dog style with your index and middle finger. Don't ask me how I know it, just give it a thumbs up. When the chocolate still has shape but looks like it's about to melt, then you can take them out of the oven and they are ready for topping. Put your candy coated chocolates and your nuts or whatever your little heart desires on top, and if you're making them for New Year's, use colored M&Ms. And voila! My third and final recipe is my favorite. It's a cranberry salsa. It tastes so good. This one takes the most ingredients, but it takes the least time to make. You need one and a half cups of cranberries, half an apple, half a jalapeno, two green onions, two tablespoons of cilantro, one tablespoon of lemon or lime juice, one tablespoon chopped ginger, and two to four tablespoons of sugar. Then put them all together in a food processor and blend, blend, blend. Does anyone know that reference? Obviously, the measurements are just a guideline to follow. You can add more jalapeno if you want it spicy or not at any at all. But this stuff tastes so good with vegetables or corn chips or on fruit. I put it on toast this morning, but I also just eat it plain. It's so good, guys. Please try it. If you try any of these treats, tweet me with the hashtag LexiHasGoodTaste and I will retweet it. Don't families have like traditions where they make a certain treat every single year? I want you guys to comment down below what yours are because mine are coffee cake and these snowball cookies and the reason why neither one of those are in these videos is because they take so long to make. <laughs> the coffee cake takes like a whole day and another morning. <laughs> so I didn't think anyone would want to watch a video on that. However, they are really good and they're something I look forward to every year so I wanted to share them with you guys anyway. So I'm gonna put the recipes in the description box just in case you want to check them out. It's nothing like too big but I just, I, they're really good and if you want to try them. And also I wanted to say that lately I've been uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays, however Christmas is on Thursday. And so what I was thinking is I upload this video on Wednesday, I upload my what I got for Christmas on Friday and then you get my last week of Vlogmas on Sunday. So you're getting three videos from me this week which is crazy but it's the holiday time and I thought it was my way of giving back and sharing with you guys. Click above to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.